This video is part of a series on AEMC Instruments Data View Data Analysis Program. This video series reviews Data View features and explains how you can use them to display data and configure your AEMC instrument. In the first video, we briefly introduce Data View. In the second video, we walk you through the Data View installation procedure. When you purchase an AEMC instrument supported by Data View, the software is included as part of the product package. Data View program files are stored on a USB stick. Before installing Data View, be sure your system meets the following minimum hardware and software requirements shown on the screen. To begin installation, insert the Data View USB stick into an available USB port on your computer. If Auto Run is enabled, an autoplay window appears on your screen. Click Open Folder to view files to display the Data View folder. If Auto Run is not enabled, use Windows Explorer to locate and open the USB drive labeled Data View. When the Data View folder is open, find the file setup.exe and click it to run the installation program. The Data View setup screen appears. In the upper left corner of the screen, choose the language version of Data View to install. In the lower left corner are the available installation options. In addition to the Data View software, you can select Adobe Reader. This links to the Adobe website where you can download for free the latest version of Reader. This program is required to view Data View PDF documents. The option Data View Update opens the AEMC website where you can check for the latest Data View software version releases. Similarly, Firmware Upgrades links to our website where you can check for new firmware updates to your AEMC instrument. Finally, User Manuals links to the documentation that accompanies Data View. In our example, we will choose to load the Data View program and then click Install. After a few moments, the Data View Install Shield Wizard welcome screen appears. The Install Shield Wizard program leads you through the Data View installation process. To proceed, click Next. Read the license agreement and indicate your acceptance by clicking I accept the terms of the license agreement. Then click Next. At the Customer Information screen, enter your username and company name. Also choose whether this installation is for all users of the PC or just for your username. Click Next to proceed. The next screen lets you select the Data View setup. If you choose Custom, you are prompted to select custom settings such as the installation folder. In our example, we will select Complete to accept default settings and then click Next. You are now prompted to select the control panel you want to install. As we mentioned in the first installment of this video series, each AEMC product family has its own specially designed control panel. By default, all available control panels are selected. Control panels take up this space on the PC, so we recommend that you select only the control panels applicable to your AEMC instruments and deselect the rest. To help you decide which control panels applies to your instrument, the description box on the right side of the screen lists all AEMC instruments supported by the highlighted control panel. After you've finished selecting and deselecting control panels, click Next. The program is now ready to install DataView. If you want to review any of your previous selections, click the Back button to return to earlier screens. Otherwise, click Install to begin installation. The Install Shield Wizard now installs DataView. During this process, a status bar displays the progress of the installation. During installation, you may see a warning message about installing Data View with your AEMC instrument connected to the PC. If the instrument or USB cable is connected, disconnect it now, then click OK to proceed. After a few moments, a screen appears informing you that installation is complete. Click Finish to leave the Install Shield Wizard. 
You are now asked whether or not you would like to view instructions about how to connect the AEMC instrument or cable to the USB port on the PC. Click Yes to view these instructions, or No to proceed. Close the Data View Setup screens. The Data View icon now appears on your PC desktop. Click it to open Data View. Data View opens with the Quick Start dialog box displayed. To register your new data view installation, close the Quick Start dialog box. You will then see the User Registration dialog box, which enables you to register with AEMC to be kept informed about product updates. This concludes our installation of data view. In future videos, we will review the major components of the data view user interface and how they were used to access the many powerful features of the DataView program.